When I make my potato salad, this time I'm going to be making my very own mayo, which for the longest time I made my own mayo and then slowly slipped back into buying it from the store, but nothing beats making your own. It just tastes far superior. So for this potato salad, I'll be making my own mayo. Let's see how I do it. Hello, this is Rafa. Welcome to another page in my homesteading diary. Are some essential ingredients and then there's some add-ons just for flavor. So one of the first things that's essential for the amount that I'm going to be making is I need three raw room temperature eggs and I'm using five because the eggs that I have are on the small side. But if you're using regular sized eggs or large eggs or extra large eggs, just use three. I'm going to add them to the blender. This is so easy, you guys, so easy. So let's start out with what you must have. Here I have one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt and Dead Sea salt mixed. If you're using table salt, you might want to just use one teaspoon or half a teaspoon because uh, pink salt and Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt and Dead Sea salt has a lower salty profile than table salt. Next, I'm using one fourth a teaspoon of black pepper followed by two tablespoons of sugar. Now, to preserve this, we're going to be using lemon juice and vinegar. So I have three tablespoons of lemon juice. one tablespoon of vinegar. We're going to blend that on high until it's nice and frothy. Now I'm going to add my optional seasonings and spices. So I'm putting in a fourth a teaspoon of dill, fourth a teaspoon of dill, half a teaspoon of paprika, paprika, Fourth a teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper. These are all optional. One teaspoon of Italian seasonings. and a fourth teaspoon of butter extract. If you have never used butter extract and you decide to give it a try, be very frugal with it because this, the flavor is pretty intense. If you hover around the one fourth or one eighth of a teaspoon mark, then you'll love the 
added layer that it adds to whatever you put it in. However, once you cross a half a teaspoon, it starts tasting a lot like alcohol um, and not so much like butter. So when you first start experimenting with it, be on the conservative side. Now, blend this up a little bit more. The next thing we're going to be adding is oil. Now, some people have a problem uh, with using canola oil. I find that you can use any kind of oil, but canola oil gives me that thick consistency that I like when I buy store-bought mayo. Here I have a blend that I always use. I use um, one cup of canola oil, and then I put a fourth a cup of wheat, wheat germ oil, and then I put a fourth a cup of light tasting olive oil. When you add this to the blender, you're going to drizzle it in, keep the, the stream that's coming, down, coming out, keep it about the, the diameter of a pencil. You don't want to just pour it in there. Um, you want to just take your time and kind of drizzle it in while it's going. it up, give it a little stir, and then I'm going to thicken it again some more. Now, I have tried it with an immersion blender, and I found that the consistency, consistency stayed a little on the soupy side. I think the immersion blender uh, gets kind of hot while it's blending. I don't know if, that's, if that was the reason or not, but I prefer to do it in a blender.
Uh oh. You know, I don't do cooking videos on the regular. <laughs> this is not gonna be one of those professional looking videos. I'm just trying to show you the method. Anyways, look at that. Creamy goodness, and it smells so good. I love mayo. Can you imagine how many steps up you just bumped your potato salad, your tuna salad, your macaroni salad by making your own mayo? Talk about impressive. You could put this in a squeezy bottle. You could repurpose an old mayo bottle that you use from the store. This should keep in your refrigerator two to three weeks. Mine never lasts that long. We eat a lot of sandwiches. This also makes a good salad dressing as well on your green salads. There you go, creamy goodness, your own mayo. I almost forgot, you can also add a half a teaspoon of dry mustard to this. I did not because I'll be adding prepared mustard to it, to the potato salad. Okay, I'm taking a chance showing you all my potato salad methods because everyone and their mothers have their way of doing potato salad. I tell you, one of the most intense situations in my kitchen is when my father was living and I would host a get together at my house and try to make potato salad with him and my sister in the kitchen, both of them in my ear trying to tell me what not to put in and what to put in and how much of what to put in. Everyone has their own special way, and they're usually all good, to be honest with you. Very seldom have I had a potato salad that I just flat out didn't like. I like them bland, I like them creamy, I like them chunky, I like them sweet, I like them sour. I just love potato salad. Not everyone does, though. Some people are very particular. One thing, though, I have never had anyone to say they did not like mine. So let's see what I have going on. Here I have a bowl of potatoes that I diced up about an inch and I cooked them for about eight minutes. Um, any more than that and they get mushy. I had two batches going, one to get a little soft and one to stay a little firm. I kind of like the mixed consistency of that. So boil them in salt water and then um, let them cool. And then now I'm going to add um, chopped celery, chopped red peppers. I could have used bell peppers, but I like the red for the coloring and the egg whites from the boiled eggs. of just hearing scraping. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's better. Here I have the yolk from the eggs. Now with the egg whites, for those of you who are not cooks, 
Um, I just chopped it up by mashing it with the tines of the fork. Okay, with the egg yolk, I'm going to add a little bit of horseradish, not a lot because my husband does not really care for it, but I sneak it in anyway and most of the time he doesn't know. So just about, I think that's probably a teaspoon of the horseradish. Yeah, probably about a teaspoon. Then I'm going to add some prepared mustard. That's probably two teaspoons of the prepared mustard. Now, after that, I'm going to add the uh, mayo that I prepared. Do you see how nice and thick that got after it sat out for a while? Nothing like it. You will love it. I'm not going to put any onion powder in this because sometimes that makes it go rancid after it's been sitting a few days. And that's also why I did not put the onion powder in the um, mayo. Because depending on what I'm gonna use the mayo for, the onion might, um, might not hold up well over a few days. Okay, so. Here I've incorporated all of that, the egg yolk and all of that, and the mayo. I'll probably definitely need more mayo than that, but I just wanted to show you that much. I'm going to be using sweet salad cubes. Some people like to use relish. I'm putting in three big soup spoons full. And now I'm going to add the mayo mixture. And I'm just going to give it a nice toss coat everything. You know, they say potato salad is better the second day. I gotta say, I agree with that. Now, I might go back and add a little bit of um, crushed celery seeds. Okay, let me do a little taste to see if I need to add anything, which at this point, you know. Mm-hmm, I'm going to add it. I'm gonna add about teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add maybe a uh, fourth a teaspoon of celery seeds. I like to grind it up because nobody likes biting down into celery seeds.
I'm going to add the rest of this um, salad cubes. So all together, I probably use four uh, soup spoonfuls of the salad cubes. And I'll have the recipe in the description box. Okay, rinsing the spoon off so that I can taste again. Spot on. You all go out there and look for the good in life. I'm going to have this with cabbage and barbecue chicken and cornbread. Yum, 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 yum. This channel promotes the goodness in life. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And above all, prosper and be in good health. <laughs>